Hi everybody, welcome to math. Today we're working on topic four, lesson seven. We're gonna practice adding using strategies. Strategies is just another word for tools, um, ways that we're gonna attack our problems. So we're gonna work on all of the strategies that we've been working on in chapter four. We've used base 10 blocks, we have used partial sums where we put our numbers in expanded form. We've rearranged the numbers to um, do a different order to make it easier number to add. And some of us have been starting on working with mental math, doing parts of it in our head. So let's look and see where we are today. Maria has 39 stickers. Sally has 28 stickers. They found 14 more stickers. How many stickers do they have in all? We're gonna solve using any strategy and explain how we found the answer. So before I start, I'm gonna to think to myself, what is this problem about? It's about stickers, right? And what do we know about the stickers? We know that Maria has 39 stickers. Put an M for Maria. Sally has 28 stickers. Okay. Then they found 14 more stickers. I know 14 more. More usually means getting bigger, like adding. How many stickers do they have in all? How many do they have in all? That's a combining problem. We're putting all those stickers together. Combining is addition. So I'm gonna take Maria's stickers and I'm gonna put them with Sally's stickers and then I'm gonna add the 14 more stickers that they found. If you would like to pause the video and work this out yourself and then you can hit play to see how I worked it, see if we got the same solution, same answer. All right. Um, I'm going to start by drawing base 10 blocks. So I'm going to model 39, 3 tens, 9 ones. I'm going to draw 28 with 2 tens and 8 ones with plenty of room so I can circle things and space them out. And then 14, let's get our 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, I'm going to start in the ones place. I see I've got nine here. Nine only needs one more to make a 10. So I'm going to come scoop this one up. And I'm going to put these in a group of 10. I'm going to put an R to show that I've regrouped them, and I'm going to move them over here to the tens place. Let's see how many ones we have now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Oh, I don't know that we've done this together before, but we have another 10. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna circle these 10, make sure it's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and I'm gonna regroup a second time. That is A-OK. -okay. And I've got one more left, so I'm gonna put that, that down here in the ones place. Maybe I'll put a little box around it so I know that's not a 10. All right, and then in the tens place, I'm gonna count all of my tens, including the ones we just put in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. So I found that Maria and Sally have 81 stickers altogether. I'm gonna do the expanded form or partial sums way just to check and compare and to give you guys another example in case you did it this way. Oops, not 28, let's do 20 plus eight, and then 10 plus four. Now I can do this pretty easily. 30 plus 20 plus 10 equals 60. Over here, this is where we gotta know those facts. Nine plus eight is 17. And then if we add four more, that's 21. So 60 plus, ooh, my pencil and my brain are not working. 60 plus 21 is 81. Or you can say 60 plus 20 plus one, if that's better for you, equals 81. So we got the same sum. Either way that you wanna work this is good. Um, just make sure you're showing your work and not erasing it when you're finished because this is, this is my treasure. I love that part. Seeing what you're thinking. Okay? So just to remind you, this is going to walk you through some of those steps. Um, 
it is going to teach you about compatible numbers. So if we're going to do this one, 27 plus 38 plus 12 plus 3, this is showing you that we can find numbers that go together to make 10. This requires you to know your addition facts. Um, the numbers that make 10 are called compatible numbers. So we know that, of course, 0 plus 10 makes 10. 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, good, 3 plus what? 7, 4 plus, not 5, 6, right? 5 plus 5, and then we can change the order and say 6 plus 4, 7 plus 3, 8 plus 2, and 9 plus 1. All of these go together to make 10. They're called compatible numbers. When we have an even 10, it makes our numbers a lot easier to add. So when we see these ones, that this one has a 7 in the ones place, this one has a 3 in the ones place, we can put those together and we'll come up with an even 10, a number that has a 0 in the ones place. So 27 and 3 go together to make 10. And also here, 8 and 2 go together to make 10. That means for the ones place, we have 20 ones. For the tens place, we've got two tens plus three tens plus one ten, which is six tens or 60. And then we can add it together and get 80. This is going to walk you through those steps. So find the sum of 48 plus 28 plus 33 plus 22. Pause it while you work that. When you hit play, I'll work it out and show you what I did. All right, so you have your sum for this box. 48 plus 28 plus 33 plus 22. I see that in the ones place we have a four, an eight, a three, and a two. To make four into 10, we have to have six. And we don't have a number with six in the ones place. For eight, we need one that has a two. And we have that, so I'm gonna add the 28 and the 22 first. 28 and 22. Okay, and the reason I chose these is because this makes 10. You can count them if you want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to regroup it and move it to the 10th place. All together, we have 0, 1s, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10s. That number is 50. All right, now can we add the 14 and the 33 together? Sure. We've got seven ones and four tens. So those two together equal 47. Now we need to do 50 plus 47. This is already 47, right, everybody? Can I just put five more tens? One, two, three, four, five. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. All right. You got it. That's a lot of math, but look, I mean, Guys, look how much how, you, we've learned so much. You should be proud of yourself. All right, for these, we're going to use any strategy as long as you show your work. Make sure that you're showing that work. Let's see what strategy they're doing here. We have 18 plus 43 plus 12, and they've said 10 plus 40 plus 10. So they've chosen to do the tens place to equal 60. Ten plus forty plus ten equals sixty. And then they did the ones place. Eight plus three plus two. Eight plus two is ten plus three more is thirteen. And then they're putting it together. Sixty plus 13 equals 73. All right, 
I'm going to do the, um, let's see, I'll do expanded form for this one. 20 plus 9 is 29. 47 is 40 plus 7. If you're doing this a different way and you want to pause and get your answer before you see what mine is, that would be fine. 20 plus 40 is 60. 9 plus 7 is 16. 60 plus 16 is 76. All right, for this one, I am going to do uh, base 10 blocks. So first I've got nine ones. And then I've got 34. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I've got 21. Okay, I'm going to start with my ones. I'm going to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, oh, got to regroup it. Don't forget that step. One, two, three, four. So we have four ones, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 in the tens place. So 64 is our sum. All right, for number four, I am, I'm going to do this with place value blocks as well. I think I can fit it on the page. Three tens, three ones, two tens, seven ones. The more we get, the more important it is to be neat because we don't have quite as much space. One ten and eight ones, and one ten, three ones. All right, let's put it all together. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Womp. That's a group of ten. We are going to regroup it and truck it on over here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up, oh, got another group of ten. Regroup it and haul it on over here to the tens place. And we have just one old one left. I'm going to put it up here on the blank. I get nervous about those ones looking like a 10. All right, let's count our 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10s. 91. All right, we've got this. You have got this. As long as you can do it neatly, you can find those answers. Now, the only thing we don't have is a lot of space. so. Might be a time where you might need to find a piece of scratch paper. If you find a piece of scratch paper, try to get one that you can bring to school with your work. We're going to add using any strategy, 31 plus 5 plus 29, and these. Now we have them stacked up. It's the same thing. You may, if you can be neat, have the room to model your numbers next to these. Um, and if you want to change the order to find compatible numbers, that's great. We really, really, really need to learn these compatible numbers. But if you don't know them off the top of your head, it might be making your math a little more complicated to find them. Okay? 9 plus what makes 10? 1. We don't have another 1 in the 1's place. We already talked about that one. But 5 plus what makes 10? 5. So these two, you might want to add those two together first. Same thing. Compatible numbers are the ones that make 10. All right. This is asking if you used a strategy to, to choose which numbers to add together first. If you did, explain what you chose. If you didn't change the order, just say, I didn't change the order. I just added them as they are. All right, number 15 says we're going to solve our problems. We're going to show our work. This one specifically says model, which means draw a picture. Kim has 38 seashells. Mike has 27 seashells. Use partial sums to find how many seashells they have in all. Then check your answer by adding another way. It is not important to me that you use partial sums. You're going to try this doing two different ways. You can use um, any of the strategies that we've done. You can draw a picture of your base 10 blocks. You can use a number line, expanded form. 
um, if you want to try the compatible numbers and rearrange the add-ins, do instead of starting with 38, start with 27. You're just going to try to show it two different ways. That's going to be the challenge of that one. All right, you've got a STEM question. Fossils form slowly over millions of years. Many fossils come from the sea. Kyle has nine fossils. Jory has 12 fossils. Leah has six fossils and Joshua has eight fossils. How many fossils do they have in all? 17, find the sum of 42 plus 13 plus 18 plus seven and explain why what you did works. Hmm. That's gonna be a good one to think about. And then we're gonna find the sum of these three add-ins with any strategy and show your work. All right guys, I know this is gonna take you a little bit longer because you got more numbers to add, so go ahead and get started and let me know if you have any questions. See you next time, bye.